hi guys welcome to my channel it's a girl precious Eliki. in today's video we're going to be talking about some traumas eh that are reflecting in your financial life i know you can be like oh where am i going with this video but just draw your chair closer i'll draw the phone closer and you know enjoy today's ride with me the very first you know trauma that some people might have that might be holding them down or reflecting their personal finance habit is holding things there are some of us that we're so used to holding things by going up where you don't want your siblings to know where your things are your parents you know they're always used to holding they are used to holding things from you because they should bring that thing to your front you're going to finish it i remember when my mom was supposed to go into um i didn't tell anybody this provision all these groceries like biscuits snacks and the likes but because of we the children she, had, she did not sometimes she even buy milk she buy tea she had to like keep it so that you know will not will not you know overeat it or use it like consume it beyond the time like before the time she wanted to be consumed so some of the habits that reflect my personal finances is holding things we are so used to holding things we are used to keeping things from ourselves that is what is stopping some of us from investing from spending the money you've invested because you are used to like ah let me keep it let me keep it but the thing is that sometimes just remember that you only live once and splurge on yourself enjoy yourself take yourself out mm? have fun have fun with with yourself with your friends with people around you but I'm just like other things is is for people people that have you know experienced a form of poverty or starvation and they've not eaten the part of the other so when they when you just see like little things they don't want to let it go from them you know that's that's some people have never said they invest in today because like ah you yeah, should go and invest i should go and crash but they do not the business crashing the um, stock market question is part of the old things that make life sweet eh? you get to learn along the line so i'll just say please stop holding things today and if, it's, if, you, are, if you are used to holding things let's go of it because at the end of the day this is still your life and you have to enjoy your life now and don't hold on to things don't be so tight fisted mm? let's lose do like this let's lose yeah so the second thing is that for some of us it is buying more than you can eat or buying more than you need that is a very you know bad habit that some people have grown up with it's not bad but it's not when they were growing up at the time you know they are not used to always having everything so when they have it they always try to overbuy it or they're like ah oh, when i grow up i'm going to over i'm going to consume that thing eh? i'm going to so much eat that thing eh? i remember at the time when, when i was growing up i didn't used to take a lot of ice cream so in the year 2020 i can say like every sunday i consumed ice cream to the extent that I mean, I had it with my chocolate. I mean, I consumed a lot. But now I know that my health is so important to me. I cannot be consuming that thing so much because if I should consume it so much, it reflects my body. So I would say, you know, buying everything you want because of the fact that, oh, when you were growing up, you are not used to having it. Yes, it is good. But some of us, some of the things that we are buying are shoes. Some of the things we are buying are clothes. So you have a lot of clothes in your wardrobe. You have a lot of shoes on your shoe rack. You have a lot of things they are not using. But you just buy it because you feel like you are left out. And you feel like, ah, if I don't have it now, it will be too late for me to have it later. It's not too late. But please, don't do that. Let's go of that habit. Let's go of that attitude now. So that, no need to always, they are always constantly scared that, ah, if I should, if I, if I don't buy it now, maybe will I enjoy it? It is that you are forever on the on the on the you no know, on the future. You are forever ahead of you. So don't don't always have the need or the urge to always buy everything now. Take it the day at a time. You have everything when you are supposed to have everything. And that thing is, people, some people are so used to you know, holding out on investing in nice things for themselves. Hmm. Someone like me. <laughs> Sometimes I'm always like ah, I should buy this thing. I was like calculating a lot. It's not good. It's not good. And that is an habit that I really want to like let go of. Because I'm always like, ah, if I should buy this thing now, it's going to affect me. It's going to affect how I'm going to live. It's going to affect what I'm going to eat tomorrow. But the thing is, tomorrow will definitely take care of itself. That does not mean that you can overspend your things so. But really, tomorrow will take care of itself. So you always not, ah, I don't want to buy this thing now. Eh. I don't want to invest in this thing now. Some of you know that you really want to buy that pair of shoes. That shoe is going to, it's going to like elevate your set of shoes that you want to buy. Now that one shoe is a great investment. Like you should buy it now. You don't need to buy another shoe in the next six months to one year. But you're just afraid that ah, I should go and buy it. I should buy it. 
Ah, my pocket going to one dry. Whether you buy it, no bites. You should not spend it money in your pocket. So why don't you just invest it on something that you can see and you can appreciate for yourself? I'm like, yes, I'm so proud with what I bought. You know, this is for people that are constantly afraid of slipping back into poverty. So you naturally restrict yourself. There is prudence, but there is extreme frugality. And people are always like this. They're always scared in investing in good things for themselves because they're afraid that I should buy it now. If I should invest in it now, I'm be able to enjoy some things tomorrow. Please, sometimes don't calculate it. Sometimes I tell myself that. And I want to start calculating things to another like, be careful. Be careful, calm down. And when I was in school in Sunday level, my friends were always like, I want to buy, want, even I want to buy, want to get for into generator or do something in the house at the time. And I'm always like, ah, if I should do it, it's going to affect, you know. The next thing I'm going to do, I'll not going to do on that. Then I'll not going to transfer myself to school. Because my friend had a conversation with me when I was like, chill, chill, calm down. You will definitely still have that money. And that thing was the icebreaker for me. And since that time, I started thinking like, I'm just like, even if I spend everything today, I will still have something to spend tomorrow. So why don't I just take it a step at a time? And another thing that I've also seen from people, because I got this post from um, just in the last day. This is a credit going out to her because she was not inspired these conversations on traumas that people have not dealt with and is affecting their financial life. And thing is that some people always, you know, always try to spend things so as to impress people. And I don't know who they are impressing. I call them my village people anyway. But like some people is just like, ah, let me spend me buy this thing now. Let me spend it. I don't spend it. Like really, calm down. Hmm? What are they doing gish gish to impress people? You really do have to impress. I know those people are maybe like, always trying to, that people like that are always trying to impress. I put it that maybe giving them trauma at one point or the other in their life. And they feel like if they should, you know, impress and let them see that, like, oh, I'm also doing it for myself, they will be happy for themselves. But really, you really don't have to. You really don't have to impress any woman being. They are not worth it. They are really not worth it. And you are worth more than enough. So you guys, if you have more things that you feel like people are dealing with and is affecting their personal finances, do well to share it down below and I'll do well to go through them. And as somebody else is also going to go through them, I'm also going to like come out of that trauma and also like let loose of those things because really, really, you can come out of it and you can still have the best personal finances that it is out there. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Do well to like, share and subscribe.